Thank you for staying with KTN Prime. So the annual Turkana Festival has kicked off and we saw First Lady Margaret Kenyatta there today. And it's indeed an honor to speak to Turkana Governor Josvat Nanok, who now joins us on KTN Prime. Governor, good evening. Thank you for speaking to us on KTN Prime this evening. So first of all, this um, Turkana... Turkana County is bordered by Uganda, um, South Sudan, and Ethiopia. And part of the reason why this festival um, is actually held is to enhance peaceful coexistence between the communities that live in these countries. How successful has that been so far? Yeah, good evening, Linda. Uh, indeed, uh, Turkana County sits in a very geographically strategic position bordering uh, the counties of Uganda, uh, South Sudan, and Ethiopia. Um, first, you have to, to understand the genesis of how we began this festival. This area, as you as has always been, has been uh, in the boundaries of the, the international boundaries, have always been very, very insecure, including the internal boundaries where Turkana borders West Pokot, Baringo, and Samburu. So when devolution rolled out and county governments rolled out, we thought that we will need a local solution to be able to resolve this chronic problem of insecurity. So we began engaging with the with, uh, government officers, our counterparts across the borders in, in South Sudan with the Kapoeta state, in Uganda with the Karamojong, uh, districts of Karamojong and, and, and the Ministry of uh, uh, Karamojong Affairs and also uh, counterparts in uh, South South Omo Zone region of, uh, of Ethiopia. And, 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 and alongside that, we also, as a grassroots bottom-up uh, approach, uh, uh, said culture, because the communities that have been worrying uh, are more brought together by, by, by culture. So we said we surely use culture as a means of resolving uh, the ongoing conflicts. Uh, this particular Tobonglore is the fourth one that we've conducted. And, and since we began it, alongside the several uh, peace initiatives we've conducted, uh, uh, regular peace initiatives uh, every two to three months along the borders, has helped stabilize the situation along the international borders, particularly Uganda, where things have stabilized to the point where there's a huge trade uh, going on between the towns of Moroto, Kotido, and, and the towns of Turkana, including Lodwa. In fact, Lodwa, 50% uh, of the supplies into Lodwa town is coming from Uganda now because the prices are cheap and the road network is also, is also passable. Uh, we want to put more effort through this festival and alongside other peace celebrations like uh, uh, Atana Yeche peace celebration uh, and others to be able to bring these communities together to realize that uh, there is no benefit in, in conflicting and in stealing cattle from each other. So this way, we will be offering peace dividend in terms of uh, uh, providing water services for, 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 the, for the livestock of the pastoralists who have been fighting, but also opening up the road network so that trading can be able to take over and, and, and provide an alternative to, 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 to get to wrestling. Now, basically, it's working in terms of uh, ensuring peaceful coexistence. So this festival is dubbed Tobong Lore, Welcome Home. Um, where did that come from? Yeah. Thank you. I think this is also a home initiative. <laughs> As you know, that uh, there have been a lot of uh, archaeological research that has been going around here, and, and particularly along the, the, the Lake Turkana Basin. And, and, and there are several discoveries that archaeologists led by Dr. Richard Leake, his family, uh, have uncovered fossils that, uh, and, and tools and, uh, uh, that, are, that are the oldest in the world. But also the fact that uh, uh, archaeological research has also discovered that the first economy to be practiced by man, which is pastoral economy, was begun here in Turkana, and there's evidence to show that. So we are building on that narrative, that scientific narrative, to ask everybody, to ask everybody around the world to come back home and celebrate with us uh, as, as, as part of that process. So that's how the name Tobonglore came. Uh, it basically means uh, we welcome everybody back home 
so that we can be able to celebrate civilization and be able to 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 to, to, to celebrate uh, the togetherness that all races uh, all emerged from 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 one place okay so basically, Turkana should be home for all of us. Governor, thank you so much for your time. Turkana Governor Josephat Nenok speaking to us live from Turkana. And I hope your festival goes on very well tomorrow. We'll try and see if we can speak to you again tomorrow and just showcase what that festival is all about. Governor, thank you so 